our agenda. I am Padmaja Joshi. Today, the day has been full of hectic debate on the issues of national pride and nationalism. The focus, largely, of course, was on the merging of the flame, the eternal flame, from Amar Jawan Jyoti to the National War Memorial. But at the same time, another very significant development took place today in the national capital, where just a few days before the country celebrates Republic Day, the Prime Minister announced that the canopy at India Gate, which earlier used to house the statue until the 60s of King George, is now going to house the statue of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. On his birth anniversary, in a few days from now, a hologram statue will be inaugurated, eventually to be replaced by a granite statue. A fitting tribute before Republic Day to the country's heroes, the Indian soldier and, of course, the hero of the Indian National Army, Netaji himself. But just before the merging of the flame was to take place, in the afternoon, there was anger and outrage and a sudden outpouring of grief from some quarters like never before. Some politicians lamented the tragedy of the Amar Jawan Jyoti being extinguished. They say it will be gone forever. They attributed this to the government at the centre not understanding the sentiment of sacrifice and that of love for the country. Desh Bhakti, Desh Prem or Balidan, they said, is something that the Modi government just does not get. Other politicians put it down to an effort to erase the legacy of the Congress given that the Amar Jawan Jyoti was set up at India Gate in 1972 by the government of Mrs. Gandhi in memory of the soldiers who were killed in action in the 1971 war. In fact, some also said that this is nothing more than the hubris of the current government given that they themselves had absolutely no contribution to make in the country's struggle for independence. On this, that Amar Jawan Jyoti, 50 years old, is being shifted to the National War Memorial. Mr. Narin Modi wants to undo whatever Congress has done. Why is he shifting Amar Jawan Jyoti, which has been there for the last 50 years? It is something, uh, I say, foolish to do it. I believe that your contribution to Hindustan is not in the past. It will also be less than that. But it doesn't mean that the law is running for 50 years, you will be able to change the law. You will be able to change the law. Who gives you this kind of knowledge? It is neither good politics nor good optics. Think for the Ishwar once again. Now, there is nothing wrong in the National War Memorial. But Mr. Modi or the central government is doing this absolutely with political motivation. Because Amar Jawan Jyoti was started by Indira Gandhi. This should be condemned by all people. The two flames could have burned together. There would be no difficulty. But why the government has decided to extinguish one and keep the other is not clear, excepting. So the natural question then is, where does all of this anger, this despair, this outpouring of grief stem from? Is there genuine concern about a hurt to national pride? Or is this simply about politics? Is there really an insult to the fallen soldier or purely an ignorance of facts? You're watching the News Hour at 10, debate number one on Times Now, Super Prime Time. Joining us uh, on the show, we have Tuhin Sena, spokesperson of the BJP, Colonel DPK Pillai, defense expert, Colonel Utkar Shathor, also a defense expert, Gansham Tiwari, national spokesperson of Samajwadi Party, will join us. But my first question I want to ask of Taiseen Poonawala, political analyst, because through the day what we've heard, Taiseen Poonawala, and this has been very intriguing. Everyone, including Mr. Manoj Jha, who we just heard, even Mr. Rahul Gandhi today morning said, बहुत दुख की बात है कि हमारे वीर जवानों के लिए जो अमर ज्योति जलती थी, उसे आज बुझा दिया जाएगा। 
हम अपने सैनिकों के लिए अमर जवान ज्योति एक बार फिर से जलाएंगे ना आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू पिक्चर्स ऑफ बिफोर एंड आफ्टर द अमर जवान ज्योति एट इंडिया गेट एंड द सेम अमर जवान ज्योति एट द नेशनल वॉर मेमोरियल तो ये कौन सी ज्योति बुझी हुई है जिसको हर कोई जलाने का प्रण ले रहा है आज and today is a very sad day yes. for me and my family uh, it's a heartbreaking day for my family my father in law had taken part in the 1971 war um uh, he was an air force pilot and he bombed the city in which uh, his brother was born and we won the war so today they've been very very heartbroken uh, he used to always go to the amar jawan jyoti to remember his friends who were martyred for india in the 1971 war Uh, Padmaja you showed the the two sites where the plane has been transferred but if i were to go right now at 10 o'clock in 3 minutes to the india gate where the original jyoti was as it's extinguished at this moment yes the flame is at a new place but that jyoti is extinguished and padmaja may i please take you back to 3 years ago when prime minister modi's government promised us that this amar jawan jyoti is an absolute integral part of india's history and it will never be extinguished now the government has gone back on its own word look i bet it is not National extinguished Memorial, I... did you see the entire process no no tehsil let's be honest yeah, to facts see, uh, did you see the okay. entire ceremony but today me to... let me show you yes, through I... visuals let me take you yes. step by step through the entire yes. ceremony there was a sure. transferring of the flame from one mashal to the other then it was transported right. to the national war memorial and it was yes. lit By the way, Ramar Jawan Jyoti at the National War Memorial has been there since 2019 when it was dedicated to the country, and everyone since 2019 has paid homage there. And since right. you touchingly remember your father-in-law and his fallen comrades, let me also tell you that even though your father-in-law may have visited Ramar Jawan Jyoti, his fallen friend's name was not there at India Gate that's ever. True. That's true. But his friend's Now, name today is at the National War Memorial, Tehsi. Thank you for putting that out, and I absolutely respect and appreciate that. And therefore, I respect the National War Memorial that the Prime Minister Modi built. But with this particular place at India Gate, the Amar Amar Jawan uh, Jawan Jyoti, there is an emotional attachment. There is an attachment with that place. Now the names are not there. Is your argument, and I agree with it. And therefore, there is something at the National War Memorial. And now let me take you. Then did the Prime Minister not know it in 2019 when he promised that this will not be put off? It is an integral part of India. Point number two. The National, uh, the Commonwealth uh, Graves Commission, they maintain graves all across the world. They don't say let's get the soil from all across the world and have one uh, one uh, graveyard which we will maintain. It maintains all across the world. Why couldn't India have two planes 400 meters apart? All it has to do is run on CNG. How is the government of India incapable of maintaining two planes and doesn't have the resources to maintain two planes when the prime minister can buy himself new cars, new planes, and a new bungalow? I want to make one more point. You know, Padma Jha, okay. just continuously telling is, us one more point. No, no, no. no. Let's let's address one us. point at a time because we've heard this said sure. again and again. We've heard this said again and again. Colonel Pillai. is an expert in this field so he will explain it better but just tell me this since 2019 all visiting dignitaries any occasion yes. when you are remembering the fallen soldier all the ceremonies are conducted at the national war at memorial. the national war memorial tell me and it's if true. everyone goes to the war memorial and the amar jawan jyoti is at another place isn't it disrespectful to the flame that respect is not being paid to it No. Should all the ceremonies be at one I'll location? Ten seconds. I'll explain to you in ten seconds. Padmaja, perhaps, and I know that you're very well aware of Indian uh, military history. There are number of jyotis, there are number of uh, mashals all across the country. Every regiment. For example, if you come to Pune, we have a National War Memorial, the Southern Command Branch, and all across India. So, are you saying that India, under Narendra Modi, will be only one mashal? So, let this mashal be there. Every dignitary, every ceremony must happen at the National War Memorial. Of course not. Even. Of course but, but not. We can I'm even list for you the number I of different memorials, but there can be one national war memorial. And but I since you brought up, just a second. Since you brought up the issue of all the different graves being maintained. Just five seconds. You just okay. Just five seconds. Yes, five I'm, seconds. I am absolutely on the same page with you. There can be only one national war memorial which is being built, but there can be two mashals 400 meters apart. 
when the government of India says it does not have the resources to keep two mashals uh, uh, alive, it breaks my heart. This is a prime minister's what new bungalows, new cars, and new. The government has not said it does not have the resources. The government has not said even in one place it does not have the resources, Tessie. It's a very unfair. You know, we're not doing our own country any favors to say our government of India has said but that it cannot maintain two memorials. In no, fact, General Satish Dua, who was in charge, who was a part of the entire planning process, has been on record to say that as somebody involved in the designing, I suggested that the Jyoti belongs where the National War Memorial is. But let no, Colonel Pillai no, explain no, that no. further. Who would have been hurt if 400 meters apart there are two separate flames? Colonel Pillai, what is the problem? Uh, does it does it really matter that uh, you know is it something like uh, uh, a natural uh, occurring that you needed to have the uh, jyoti there in that place is not so firstly even i grew up uh, you know being very fascinated by the india gate and remembering that the great warriors but then later as and as and when i discovered the history behind the india gate if you remember the india gate is created for the great war the british fought for their cause you know, it was a European's war. It was from 1914 to 1919. And what happened between that period in India? 1919, just before the war ended, six months before the war ended, the greatest massacre of Indians took place in Jallianwala Bagh. When you go to Jallianwala Bagh and you see them, and you see General Dwyer, whom do you want to have as a hero in York when you are becoming an independent uh, and an Indian, no more a slave under the British? Do you want to celebrate General Dyer or you want to celebrate Udham Singhs and Bhagat Singhs? Or do you want to remember 1857 where Mangal Pandes were blown off? Or you want to remember the Lord Canning who was there? Or Jansi Kirani you want to remember? When I go down to Kerala, do you want to remember Palasi Raja who fought for his independence and his freedom to uphold his freedom of his people? Or you want to remember uh, Duke of Wellesley who went and learned his lessons and defeated Napoleon? You know, even in America, when in America got their independence in mm. 1776, they didn't continue to keep colonial buildings. They tore down the statue of King George III immediately. And who was it? The greatest statesman that the Americans is George Washington. So we are the only people who actually celebrate and apologize for British. You know, in 1911, when they announced the creation of the British uh, new capital in New Delhi, it was never meant to be to do uphold our uh, mm. freedoms and liberties. It was for them a thousand year uh, place from where they're going to rule the whole world for thousand years. It is only Hitler who came in and upset okay, their entire Tessin plans wants to because quickly, the best men got killed. To that, sir. And they were not capable Tessin of keeping Kuna on. Tessin wants to quickly respond to that and then... And, and, and then Colonel first Utkarsh also wants to come in. Yes, Tessin Poonawala. First of all, Colonel Pillay, I want to salute you for your service to this country. We are safe because of people like you, so we owe a depth of gratitude to you. Colonel Pillay, is it your case today on Times Now, and I say this with respect and reverence to you, that the names etched on India Gate are not of Indian citizens who are martyr for Mother India. Are those regiments not Indian regiments? Some of all of these regiments are 100, 175, 150, 150 or regiments. The President's Bodyguard Regiment, for example, is 1776. Are these not our Indians? Yes, that may have been a war that was a foreign war. But they are Indian sons of Ma Bharti. They are Indian regiments, and those regiments are celebrated even today. They still exist. The Bharata Regiment, the Jat Regiment, the President's Bodyguard. Are we going to disown our own regiments now, Colonel? I mean, stand here in this. This is what kind of a history are we taking up? Uh, we are not. Are no, Tasim so. Poonawala, those names remain there. Them. But I, I think Colonel Pillai should respond to that. Nobody is defending them. Yes, disowning them. Sorry. Yes, Colonel Pillai. So, with all due respect to you and uh, thank you for your sentiments expressed, we are not disowning them. But at the same time, I would like to see the ones who really fought for our country's independence also honoured alongside. Now, where does it say that you can't honour an Udham Singh? Why shouldn't he be a hero? Why shouldn't Bhagat Singh be your hero? Why, why, like, why, why, why is it that only those who fought for the crown are your heroes? And why isn't General Shanawa celebrated? Why isn't uh, uh, Rani, uh, the Ranchi Jansi Rani Regiment celebrated? Why isn't uh, General Segal celebrated? Why aren't those people mm. celebrated? Yeah. Why do you only celebrate those people who fought for the British cause? This is not our war. What, what did, it, what did mm. that war, victories in those war mean to the people who were killed in Jallianwala Bagh? Exactly. What did it and mean the to flame, those people from the, the Gadar moment who was arrested? The they are the ones who planned for those things for liberating India. India. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Aaj Indian aaj heroes aaj who fought aaj for aaj India aaj are being celebrated and that's where the eternal flame aaj belongs. Tuin Sina also wants to come in. I really want to open this up. Yes, Tuin Sina wants to join issue. Yes, Tuin Sina. It is, it is very clear today that the Congress still has a closet colonial mindset which exposes itself from time to time. They thrive on obtuse selectivism, not just in, ce in celebrating our freedom fighters, but also our soldiers. Now, I'll give you some simple numbers. While it, it is very ironical that while Amar Jawan Jyoti was created after, after the 1971 war, unfortunately, the soldiers martyred in the 1971 war were missing from, uh, from there. Now, if you look at simple numbers, 83,000 soldiers were roughly martyred in World War I and the Anglo-Afghan War and other military campaigns of the Britishers, but only some 13,900 names were in, in, inscripted in, in the Amar Jawan Jyoti. As against that, in the new war memorial, some 26,000 names of soldiers who have been martyred in the last 74 years, 75 years are there. So I think, you know, this obtuse selectivism, which has become the hallmark of Congress party, needs to be uh, done away with. And that is precisely mm. why, why it is being done. Secondly, as you are aware, some of the senior most military personnel have been, the, their, their sensitive, sensitivities have been factored in, and all of them are on board. And finally, look at the hypocrisy of the Congress party. In 2012, August 11th, when in Bombay, the Amar Jawan Jyoti in uh, Mumbai was uh, vandalized by radical Muslim groups, by radical Muslim groups, how many t tweets did we see from uh, Rahul Gandhi? What action did uh, the then Congress government in Maharashtra take against the people who vandalized it? And we all know who, who those people were. So I think this hypocrisy needs to end. Today is a landmark day, and it is in the interest okay. of the Amar, Amar Jawan Jyoti, which may have, you know, paled in... Uh, in in front of the huge and vastness of the National War Memorial. They have just been merged so that together. politics of the Congress, I will come back to Tessin Poonawala in just a second. May but Colonel Utkarsh Rathor, what is your concern right now? What are your concerns right now? Because like we have been reiterating since the inauguration of the War Memorial, homage ceremonies, visit, visits by foreign dignitaries, all delegations, all of those ceremonies take place at the memorial and not at India Gate. In fact, all the next of kin also go every evening to the war memorial. Isn't that the place in a more serene surrounding that the Amar Jawan Jyoti belongs? Padmaja, my biggest concern at the moment is the kind of differentiation we are making to the Indian soldiers who died in great war and who died post-independence. This is very, very wrong. Dangerous. Yeah. I would take your mind back to a simple line sung by Lata Mangeshkar, who is battling COVID in ICU. Sarhat pe marne wala har beer tha Bharat wasi. Jo khun gira parvat par wo khun tha Hindustani. They were all Hindustanis. Okay? So please don't make sir, this difference. Sir, with the greatest respect to you, that song was... <clears throat> With, sir, with the greatest respect to you, there are three things. That song was sung for the 62 war. Those were soldiers who were fighting on Understood. our borders. Understood. These are Understood. soldiers. And if we just take a look, and, and nobody is running them down. Am, Their names am, are still inscribed on India Gate. Padmaja, but just to draw your attention to the inscription at the head of India Gate, sir, it yes. says these are soldiers who fell in Mesopotamia in France. Yet, I'm, they remain I'm there on being, India Gate. But we should Padmaja, also reserve honor. If we have me, the Amar Jawan Jyoti, it okay, should be for same. the soldiers who fought on but, our borders, sir. Don't Padmaja, you think? Padmaja, I understand of the song I refer May to. I I'll take, take the soul of it. I'm saying the Indian sacrifice, be it in great wars or a post-independence, is the same. It, some... The um, uh, speaker hmm. also said there are regiments who date back to 1700, circa. And there, that's his right. Because Indian Army is British Army. We have now, after se for 70 hmm. years, we have been. Otherwise, no, our history is inseparable. Okay, I don't like fine. Me, yeah. You are coming to your point where you say that all ceremonies have shifted to National War Memorial. Fine. All of us must have visited large shrines for pilgrimage. There are many, many temples in a compound. The main com uh, and all temples okay. have sanctum sanctorum. The main temple has a sanctum sanctorum. There is a lamp lit. Do you mean to say that other 
sanctum sanctorum are kept in dark they are also lamp lit so for okay. since the entire right. so you are also talking about become, how duplication does not reduce the dignity but does so, not. so again just a small counter to you if you are saying if you are saying if you are saying that indian soldiers who fought for the british are being denigrated then why did the prime minister go all the way to israel to honor our soldiers who fought at haifa the prime minister went yes, and celebrated indian soldiers who fought at haifa the soldiers who fought at saragadi have been celebrated where okay. is the question That's of insulting them saying. there is no insult I, no, there is no is, insult in 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 i said i said differentiation i am not saying denigrated but the thing is kind but, sir, of who self is making pity the differentiation sorry there is a kind of self pity we are playing in that there were they fought in great wars and they they were the exploiters no but sir, i am talking about differentiation i am take i am talking about bravery and chivalry of indian soldier wherever irrespective of the but flag but nobody is running down fought. the bravery and chivalry of indian soldier this soldiers. is what it is like that's i just mentioned very respectfully to. we have celebrated indian soldiers at saragadi and at haifa to name only two incidents i i fully agree with you saragadi is a very close uh, battle to my heart i know this is a kind of chivalry they shown there the thing is you keep a flame burning at the india gate keep a flame burning at the uh, national war memorial carry on with all the ceremonials at national war memorial no problem for technical purposes you can say the amar jaman jyoti has been subsumed to national war memorial flame it has not been extinguished at okay. the amar jaman jyoti that is i gave okay. you the example so of the shrine that, but let me like just very I quickly ask you sir minute, sir, just sir, a minute just a minute so because you said that saragadi is very close minutes, to your heart second. then instead give. instead would you argue would you argue that there should be an amar jaman jyoti in punjab as well to celebrate the battle of saragadi because by the way the fallen no. soldier of saragadi is not mentioned at india gate there then by that the logic there should be a separate amar jaman jyoti at at punjab yeah. as well your tasin pula wala said and he quoted there is a uh, uh, eternal flame in kargil there is an eternal flame yeah. in calcutta there is a eternal Puna. flame in pune so this is not a is irrespective exactly I'm but there is saying, one national war memorial to individual I, battles with, there are memorials but there is one national just, war memorial just give sir. me 5 seconds do you agree five, i i must clarify sure, my sure. stand i have full respect for national war memorial i think a, a dozen times i have been there okay okay this is no way i am saying it is small thing but the thing is i gave you the example of a shrine there are many temples and all temples have a lamp in the okay. sanctum sanctorum so there is you know, no problem if we retain amar jawan jyoti sir, but just subsume it in the national war memorial eternal frame that's it okay please respond to that colonel pillai then i want to bring in ghanshyam tiwari also please it was never meant to be permanent yes amar jawan jyoti Colonel was Pillai. never meant to be a permanent uh, uh, arrangement till 1971 it was created it was supposed to be a temporary measure till a national war memorial came up the request for a national war memorial has been going on from 1960 and the uh, issue was uh, deliberated it came up in the kargil war review committee report the group of ministers which decided that a national war memorial is required to be situated in delhi i was in the national security council in uh, 2009 when this matter was discovered in the empowered committee to decide and then the urban development ministry said the minister the the new war memorial should be located because it cannot be alongside because you already have the india gate now having an india gate i don't understand tesin punawala mentioned about the commonwealth war graves you know a country didn't have the money to pay for a uh, national war memorial neither did it have a location but they were paying every year about 4 uh, to 5 crores uh, uh, to the maintenance of the commonwealth war game uh, war graves 
which I agree that these are all part of our history and we fought gallantly. But it doesn't make our, it isn't our history. Our mm. history started on 1947, again driven by the British, who actually played a, a, a very devious game in October when they, uh, uh, with the Pakistani help, pushed in raiders into Kashmir to wrest Kashmir away from us. We were always at the receiving end. Even in 1971, the British who were there, they actually moved their fleets along with the seventh. Uh, Americans, they were on the side of the Americans when we fought for the liberation of Bangladesh. They are the ones who actually, this flame here honors those soldiers who died in the Bangladesh war. It was always meant to be a temporary arrangement till a proper a memorial was made. So we are neither taking away the honor, neither commending yes. or condemning any of those people who are there listed there. Firstly, all of them are not listed. So I don't know why people are getting so emotional. This war memorials, uh, Amar Jawan was never Ranchan meant to be Tibari. permanently and you know, there. Again, and how again, can it be under a canopy you know, there, which is there, meant there, there, to honor? So many things which are factually incorrect. First, two have suggested through the day that the Jyoti is being extinguished. It is not extinguished, it's transferred. Second, we go on and on about the world war. Between 1932 and 1972, the Amar Jawan Jyoti wasn't there. The only structure we're talking about, by the way, the only issue is the Amar Jawan Jyoti. It came up in 1972. So, was that also an insult to the soldiers who were killed in action in the world war, Gansham Tiwari? That there was nothing for them between 1932 and 1972, Amar Jawan Jyoti didn't exist. Great to you, the viewers, and my fellow companions. I think wrestling with history and past, things that cannot be brought right now for argument, is a, is a pastime of Modi government. As far as we are concerned, for every one of us, Amar Jawan Jyoti is, is etched in our psyche as a place, temple of sacrifice, a place that has inspired the country. Every time uh, uh, the nation pays uh, homage to the fallen, our soldiers, it fills our heart with gratitude and, and uh, communicates and gives a sense of bravery, a mission of bravery to the future generation. I think it is simply a bad idea by this government, where the Prime Minister is in a hurry to create history by extinguishing it or merging it or transferring it or whatever, doing whatever part of it. But the reality is it just communicates a bad... bad but your heart will story. still be you know, uh, still be filled with pride you know, on the 26th of January. Me, you please go me. to the National War Memorial and it will be overflowing with pride when you see a lovely, me. expansive war memorial this, with the Amar Jawan Jyoti in the middle, surrounded by walls, etched with the names of all of our fallen soldiers. Well, this, this Where is your pride of, dented of, and how? This idea of... Uh, of uh, if, if, if this is taken, that is there. 50 years of, of rituals, 50 years of nation's memory is in that place. It, you cannot recreate it overnight. And what is the purpose Sir, of it? with due respect, this of kind it? of argument is exactly of the kind that was forwarded for the Central Vista. That these buildings are crumbling, they are infested with rats and bats, but our emotion is invested in it, so please let it stand. If it is put in a better place where you don't have Moongfali Walas trying to sell you popcorn while you are standing in front of a somber monument, you think that is not advisable? Well, I think I think BJP has to decide which version of history does it want to, to fight with. There are times when they, they go back to 100 years, 500 years, 700 years and say this is the exact spot, this is what we want. And then they say that this is not in our psyche. They have to decide. The point is the government is elected to... to accept the history as is to the point about British what was right what is not the point of history is it is it is etched in us the fact that we are speaking in English on a national channel is also a, a colonial okay. past so what are you going to do are you going to wrestle with every fact that that has emerged from our history or we have to accept that there are certain things that are part of our psyche as a nation and future governments must build on on top of it rather than Sir, nobody is saying you erase history. And All we are saying is, in fact, you give your history the pride it deserves. That you house it in a place that is dignified. To Insana, respond. Rewriting history facts, in your own mind. Simply, no, no, we are not rewriting uh, history. We are being true to facts. As uh, Colonel uh, Pillay had explained, the Amar Jawan Jyoti was always meant to be a temporary structure. Today, if a question needs to be answered, it is why for the last 50 years, even after the plan being on the anvil, uh, the National War Memorial was not constructed until 2019. Secondly, if you look at the vastness and inclusiveness of the National War Memorial, the Amar Jawan Jyoti would anyway get overshadowed. We are merging the two. We are, sub you know, it is getting subsumed into, it's a, it's, it's a larger inclusiveness plan, nothing beyond that.
today you know the question really needs to be answered why in the last 50 years the national war memorial was not uh, constructed why could congress uh, not uh, you know if they really care so much for defense forces why could they could, could not they get, do any defense modernization program without the brokers those are the questions which need to be answered today Oh, okay, you know, I think the best way to judge judge the outcome of this debate is not on a TV channel. For everyone watching right now, please, this Republic Day, try and find some time or the rest of the year, go to the National War Memorial, stand there in front of the Amar Jawan Jyoti and make up your mind for yourself, whether this is political posturing or whether this is actually giving respect to your country's history and your country's heroes. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, all gentlemen for having joined us.